Hey there. I've always been curious about how Quebec became a French colony. Do you have any insights into its history? Absolutely. The history of Quebec as a French colony is quite fascinating. It all began in the early 16th century when French explorers like Jacques Cartier arrived in North America. Jacques Cartier, right. He's famous for exploring the St. Lawrence River, isn't he? That's correct. In 1534, Cartier embarked on his first voyage to North America and sailed up the St. Lawrence River. He claimed the land for France and named it Canada, derived from the Iroquoian word Kanata, meaning village. So, that's how it started. But when did Quebec specifically come under French control? The establishment of Quebec as a French colony can be traced back to 1608 when Samuel de Champlain founded the city of Quebec. Champlain is often referred to as the father of New France for his role in establishing the first permanent French settlement in North America. What was the main reason for France's interest in Quebec at that time? One of the primary motivations was the lucrative fur trade. Quebec was strategically located along the St. Lawrence River, providing access to the interior of North America and its abundant fur-bearing animals, particularly beavers. The fur trade became a significant economic driver for New France. That makes sense. But I've also heard that there were conflicts with the indigenous peoples in the region. Is that true? Yes, there were conflicts between the French and various indigenous nations, including the Iroquois and Algonquin, over control of the fur trade and territorial disputes. The French often formed alliances with some indigenous groups, while tensions remained high with others. I imagine that these conflicts had a significant impact on the development of Quebec as a French colony. Absolutely. The conflicts with indigenous peoples and rival European powers, such as the British and Dutch, shaped the course of New France's history. In 1629, during the Anglo-French War, the British temporarily captured Quebec. However, it was returned to France under the Treaty of saint germain en laye in 1632. So, Quebec changed hands briefly during that period. What about the religious aspect of its colonization? Religion played a crucial role in the colonization of Quebec. The Catholic Church was instrumental in spreading French influence in the region. Jesuit missionaries like Jean de Brébeuf and Isaac Joggs played a significant role in converting indigenous peoples to Catholicism. The establishment of missions in the presence of Catholic clergy were key elements of French colonialism. It's fascinating how religion and trade intertwined in the colonial history of Quebec. What about the population growth in the colony? Population growth in New France was relatively slow compared to other European colonies due to factors like harsh winters and conflicts with indigenous peoples. To encourage settlement, the French government implemented the Seigneurial system, where large land grants were given to Seigneurs who, in turn, granted smaller plots to habitants settlers. This system helped establish a predominantly rural society. So, it was more of a rural and agricultural society than an urban one like we see in some other colonies. Yes, that's correct. While Quebec City and Montreal grew as urban centers, New France remained primarily rural, with the majority of the population engaged in agriculture and the fur trade. It's also interesting to note that Quebec developed its own distinct culture and identity during this time. Absolutely. The French settlers in Quebec adapted to the North American environment and developed a unique culture, blending elements of French, indigenous, and later, British influences. This cultural fusion is still evident in Quebec's distinct language, cuisine, and traditions. Speaking of British influences, I know that there were conflicts between France and Britain over control of Quebec. Can you tell me more about that? Certainly. The struggle for control of Quebec was a central theme in the broader conflict between France and Britain in North America, known as the French and Indian War 1754-1763. The war culminated with the British capture of Quebec City in 1759, a pivotal moment in Quebec's history. Wasn't the Battle of Quebec a significant event during this time? Yes, indeed. The Battle of Quebec in 1759, under the leadership of British General James Wolfe, was a pivotal engagement. It resulted in the fall of Quebec City to the British and marked a turning point in the conflict. The subsequent Treaty of Paris in 1763 formally ceded New France to Great Britain. 
So, after more than two centuries as a French colony, Quebec became a British possession. That's correct. Under British rule, Quebec's French-speaking population faced new challenges, including the imposition of British legal and administrative systems. However, the Quebec Act of 1774 recognized the rights of French-speaking Catholics and allowed them to retain their language, religion, and civil law. That's interesting. So, the British tried to accommodate the French-speaking population to some extent. Yes, the Quebec Act was an attempt to maintain peace and stability in the newly acquired territory. It recognized the cultural and religious differences between the French and British populations in Quebec. I've also heard that this period saw significant migration from Scotland and other British colonies to Quebec. Yes, during and after the American Revolution, many loyalists, including those of Scottish descent, moved to Quebec. This migration led to an increase in the English-speaking population in the province and contributed to the cultural diversity of Quebec. It's fascinating how Quebec's history is marked by the interactions and conflicts between different cultures and colonial powers. Absolutely. Quebec's history is a complex tapestry of indigenous, French, and British influences, and it has shaped the province's unique identity and culture that we see today. Thanks for sharing all this information. Quebec's history is truly captivating, and they now have a much better understanding of how it became a French colony and later transitioned to British rule. You're welcome. I'm glad I could provide you with some insights into Quebec's history. It's a rich and layered story that continues to influence the province's identity and culture to this day.